Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will share with you unboxing the first look of a new uh, CTV knife that I got. So these are made by the Yufule uh, knife company and uh, I did ask the seller who was the designer of these knives so I finally uh, got the answer back. So uh, the, the designer called uh, is called Alexei uh, Citivian. So the, his name, if it is indeed his real name, uh, is named after uh, the, the whole uh, line of the knives uh, uh, they are producing. Uh, the model number is ST-103. Uh, I have put this uh, on the box just to know uh, which knife is in which box because they do not do this, they keep the cost as low as possible, uh, there is nothing wrong with that. So, uh, let's have a look about uh, this uh, new knife. So the 103 is a really nice uh, ship's foot uh, design, slim ergonomics, so this will fit in all sorts of hands, large, small. Uh, this, uh, the specifications are we have a overall length of 20.1 centimeters, this is 8 inches. Uh, the blade is 8.8 .8 centimeters or 3.5 inches. The width is 2.4 centimeters or 0 0.9 inches. The thickness is 3.4 millimeters, this is 0 0.13 inches. The handle is 11.5 centimeters or 4.5 inches long, with a thickness of uh, 1.5 centimeters, this is 0 0.6 inches without the pocket clip. The blade is uh, made out of D2, it is also marked under the model number, also TVN uh, logo on the other side. The handles are made out of, uh, which looks like the, the OG China Carta, so it is a uh, saturated uh, canvas type of my Carta, uh, as you can see, which will not uh, stain because it's already pre-stained or pre saturated with some kind of uh, polishing compound or oils. It definitely has not uh, some uh, rancid uh, or chemical smell like uh, some previous had, uh, but uh, yeah, it is uh, your preference uh, may vary. Okay, so we have a liner of construction. The liners are skeletonized for weight reduction. I would definitely would like to see uh, large milling, larger millings, just to keep down the weight a little bit more. We have a partial black G10 backspacer. The finish is a black uh, Teflon coating. We have a nice sheep's foot uh, design. A little bit milling on the top, a little bit of jimping that is really not that functional, more probably for just aesthetic purposes. The pocket clip is uh, deep carry, but uh, they are using rounded screws, so definitely a place for improvement. On this one, we have uh, really not heat treated, very soft stiffness. Uh, on the on the clip one we have really a decent uh, large uh, linear hole the pivot assembly it rides on steel caged uh, um, ball bearing washers so nice and smooth it will drop shut of course centering looks like perfect The weight comes at 110 grams or 3.8 ounces. This one has a really nice uh, milling accent on the scales. So, in my opinion, uh, they are really nice. And uh, this did add to the, the machining time. So, uh, yeah, the cost. Uh, of overall production is, uh, is a little bit higher than on your just your standard flat uh, scales, but 
nice design touch and it will give you a little bit more uh, traction of course okay let's see the sharpness out of the box so really nice and sharp let's do the lock test okay this looks sturdy because in the past I had some issues with uh, some of these let's say budget oriented uh, budget friendly uh, folders some uh, sometimes they could fail but this one is perfectly nice as far as variations go uh, CTVN or Jefule uh, will give you a few options you can choose from either uh, these uh, brown micarta or uh, military green micarta there is also a black G10 with a uh, satin blade and also a jade, so natural uh, G10 with also a setting blade. So only the micartas have the uh, titanium coated finish on the blade. Okay, so let's see the pocket profile really quickly. It should be a breeze uh, as I expected because uh, the stiffness is really, really uh, easy to put in your pocket and also outside the pocket. Nothing special on the pivot, so we have a double sided pivot right there. Small jimping on the flipper tab. So this is a overall a I must say a really nice EDC design for from Alexei and uh, now uh, let's see a few uh, side comparisons so firstly when I saw this it struck uh, the, the resemblance not that much but uh, a little bit I would say probably the inspiration it goes to the QSP uh, Pelican this is a model that is out there for a couple of years uh, it is a much higher end uh, production, of course, uh, S35VN, titanium, and so on, but uh, it has also a uh, better quality uh, canvas micarta. But just the overall, uh, maybe the, the, the shape, it uh, looks a little bit like the uh, Pelican. Also, uh, I have put in the frame my uh, ship's foot Besra from Ontario Knife Company. Uh, this is a uh, liner lock, steel liner lock, smaller EDC blade with a 10 sand uh, brown micarta. And as I mentioned the OG China Carta, so let's compare it with the OG one, the Kaiser Pinch. So yeah, they look uh, a little bit similar. This is also polished, uh, not saturated, but polished. But yeah. Okay, let's continue uh, with... Here is the Chinese bug out in my carta. They look really the same to me as far as uh, the my carta goes. Then uh, let's continue with uh, some. Well, before, uh, let's talk about the pricing. So, the prices uh, for all of my US friends will be around uh, $27. Uh, dollars. Sometimes uh, these TV nice will offer additional uh, a few percentage of a discount, uh, depends on what kind of sale they are currently on. But usually, uh, you will have to, you, you can pick it up around $27. For all my uh, EU-based friends, uh, uh, this will cost $32.19. Uh, it is just because AliExpress uh, does add uh, taxes. And uh, maybe or maybe not, you will have to, to pay also some uh, fees. Because uh, I don't know why uh, this got stopped by the customs, so I had to pay uh, taxes twice. So I'm still... Uh, resolving this uh, with the uh, reseller because it should be not 
uh, this, uh, this way. Okay, so let's continue with uh, some uh, Tuna Fire or Free Tiger or Kessivo. So this is one of my uh, favorite models from the line. This is the model uh, FT or GT956. As you can see, has, uh, in my opinion, a better quality um, CVV or uh, QSB type of standard uh, brown canvas micarta, unpolished, un uh, saturated. There's the comparison. And they also have a sheep's foot type of blade. This is the model number 957. It's a little bit larger. Unfortunately, it does not come in brown micarta. I don't know why, but uh, this is what we have here on the table. Okay, like I mentioned, QSP. So here is the uh, offspray. This has polished, nice uniform quality uh, canvas micarta, really smooth. I would like to have it uh, uh, raw, of course, but it is what it is. Here is a slasher from Best Tech Knives. Also a great uh, sheep's foot design with axis lock and also a beautiful quality uh, natural canvas micarta on the scales right there. Here is the Chinese paramilitary two. Oh, sorry, paramilitary three. Uh, where is the where is the two? Here is the two on the original with the canvas and my carter scales. One of my favorite DCs, the Ace Grant from Giant Mouse. So one of my favorite designs from uh, Tucson, here is the model 111. This happens to be in the Berlin Micarta with this not that uh, beautiful uh, burlap, which is uh, polished, but also a nice addition if you collect uh, Micarta knives. Here is the CVV Elementum and also uh, one of my favorites from QSP, the Penguin. This recently got an addition, there is also a mini and a large, so uh, I hope in the future they will bring out uh, the Micarta version so I can have a complete family of these beautiful inexpensive EDC knives, so if you don't own any QSP Penguin, uh, do yourself a favor and get yourself one. These are very well made knives. Okay, here is the small Griptilian from Benchmade. This is the full size or the large Griptilian from Benchmade. The Petrified Fish uh, 949 uh, X, this is the small one, or uh, it's also called the Warrior, and here is the large one. Okay, uh, let's see Kaiser Beglighter 2, another excellent EDC design. So let's continue with the red model 2 and also a red model 1 in uh, natural canvas micarta. Here is also a Spiderco Delica a mini recon 
on cold steel. No further peanut because I love the, the peanut pattern. And let's close it down with the K-Bar Dozier Folding Hunter, a lightweight and expensive, uh, excellent EDC for your consideration. Okay, so uh, this was the CTVN ST103. Uh, uh, there are lots of more uh, to come in the future. I hope to, to get some more because uh, lots of them have uh, nice uh, brown micarta scales, the China Carta ones. In uh, this case, uh, that the price is also right in this uh, day and age and economy. Uh, you have definitely lots of uh, other um, things you have uh, paid for. So uh, the the budget or value oriented uh, market is still growing and is a really uh, good proposition for uh, everybody to to be in. Uh, more so if you are a collector of uh, my carton knives, then then uh, it is a, a really good time to uh, to be around right now in collecting with that being said if you have any questions please leave comments down below i'm well, happy to reply as soon as i can of course if you're a subscriber thank you very much big thumbs up to you and if uh, not a subscriber then please consider subscribing do not miss any future videos with that being said thank you for watching wish you a wonderful day have a nice day